If you're looking for something straight and sleek, but not too, too long, this may be the wig for you. Stick around. I'll tell you who she is, what's her deets, all the things. Okay. So if you want to know more, let's get to it. <music> Welcome back to my channel. Okay, so today we're going to look at a wig from Beltress, and this is Allegro 18, and she is in the color Coconut Brown Sugar, which is a discontinued balayage color. So if you're interested in that in color, you want to get with me like ASAP. Oh, I need my coffee. We are going to look at the style called Wanderlust, and it's also in a discontinued color, not a balayage, but just a discontinued color. There's almost none left of this color, so... It's not something that you can necessarily get unless maybe on Poshmark or, you know, if if a wig store already had some. Uh, but it's a style that we're really here to talk about. So we're going to look at Miss Wanderlust. And I'm so excited. Ooh. Uh, ooh. Okay, let's pull her out. See, I haven't even gotten her out. So this is a straight style. I really like the, I'm in love with Dolce Dolce 23, but I was really liking the Dolce Dolce, I think it's 18 maybe, 16. It's a shorter version. So I do like a straight, straight style. I either like something like this, like kind of wavy or really straight. Uh, if you have been around the channel, you know that one of my favorites is Picture Perfect from Tressalore. And that's a real, real straight. But this just seems to, this style just seems to give me a little bit something else. So, oh my gosh. The netting caught on the scissors and then flung. I have to be so careful with these tag strings, especially these ones, because BB for some reason eats these and, and she gets sick and poops them out. And it's not cool. So this is Miss Wanderlust. So, just by my eye, she's definitely longer than the Dolce Dolce. I don't know if it's, I think it's 17, maybe it's 18, whatever. Between 16 and 18, what, the shorter version of Dolce Dolce, she's definitely longer than that, but she's not 23. So, this is the hand-tied lace front wide part. It looks like she wants to be a center part. She does have the soft bendable ear tabs. She's got the bra strap adjusters. I'm actually going to adjust it all the way down to the edge because um, I have found that these ones that are just a lace part and lace front, the cap is slightly uh, smaller than their monotops. So it also does have the soft nape, but it's not an extended nape. And this is wefted. So let's check her out. Let's do it. This wig here is going in my long-term collection. I'm not sure so much for the style because I love the style, but I'm obsessed with the color. And if you've watched any of my videos on my long-term collection, if they're not up, they will be. Um, I'm doing extensive videos on that. One of the key factors for me in a long-term collection wig uh, has to do with it being discontinued. If I can get it again, and because I'm a retailer, I don't get super pressed about it, but if it's discontinued, I usually hang on to it if I really like it because I can't get it again, okay? Let's put this on. I'm so excited. All of the Beltra styles are heat safe. Now, this is interesting. I did adjust it. This one feels a little less snug. I mean, I adjusted it, but it's not, it's not adjusted too, too much. Oh yeah. This is really giving me like blunt cut. So this is all the hair to the front. And you can see, oh, this is, yeah, this one feels a little tiny bit bigger than like the Allegro 18 that I have. So I don't know, maybe it's these ones with the center part aren't as snug. Uh, I am 21 and a half inches, so I'm a petite average. Uh, but yeah. Ooh, I'm liking this. So we got to mess up the part. In order to really know if I like it, I gotta mess this part up so it's not zigzaggy. Ooh, look at that hairline. That's nice. This would be so cute. Even though it's a center part, you could still do like a clip back situation. You know, I love a clip back. But let's just see what she's got going on. Now, this is right out of the box. So, in order to get this super flush and flat, you're gonna want to use water. These are heat safe, so you could use heat. I actually, heat safe or not, I try to avoid heat as much as possible. Like, if you want a straight wig, then just buy a straight synthetic wig because heat safe or not, 
putting the heat on it, especially putting on heat on it repeatedly, is going to shorten the life. And it, that just is what it is. So if you can get the, if you can get what you're striving for in terms of the look um, without heat, I would suggest doing that. This is gorgeous. This is real, like, auburny. Yeah. This is so, so pretty. She for sure needs a little bit of wig wax. She for sure needs some water, but wow, Zers. Let's look at her from the back. I just ordered a couple new mirrors. Uh, this is from Glamlight, and they just released the um, ghost face collection. And so I have a new ghost face mirror coming. Mm -hmm. I love my hand mirror so much. Oh yeah. Oh, oh, oh yeah. This is super pretty. This is so pretty. Speaking of hand mirrors, I'm missing two. Where are my my two friends mirrors so my total random side note for no reason um my favorite hand mirrors come from these are from makeup revolution this one's also from makeup revolution this is the corpse bride friends um this one is from color pop love that one this is a glam light one and then this is one that some, one of my doll babies gave me as a gift and it's gorgeous. So in case you ever wondered about my hand mirrors, total hand mirror ADHD interlude. But yeah, this one is gorgeous. I absolutely like this. I'm going to keep it because this is a discontinued color, but I like the style a lot and she just definitely needs to have some water to spray her down a little bit. I want to take some photos of this wig outside in the natural light. So that's why I'm not putting like the water or anything or the wig wax. She does need that because some of her fibers are just falling forward. For me, I don't like that. Some people talk about heat safe fibers being problematic. You know, they can be different. I don't see anything as good or bad, no matter what the synthetic wig. It's just what your preferences are, what how much time you want to put into it, what you're looking for, your level of maintenance. Um, I do find heat safe fibers to be very soft. Um, and in general, like some people say like they tangle. I mean, in general, a long straight wig is going to tangle. But yes, I do feel like heat safe fibers sometimes, not always, sometimes need a little bit of TLC. It doesn't bother me, but I know for some people it does bother them. Ooh, tuck behind the ear. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, this is a good tuck behind the ear. I like this one a lot. So that is what I have for you. Put down below, I'd like to hear your thoughts on heat safe fibers, pros and cons. And then also if you have this wig in another color, please let me know. Since this is a discontinued color, let's let people know down below what colors you like that are available. And if you haven't subscribed, thank you so much. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. If you have, thank you so much. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.